factors can go into selecting a heater, including aquarium size and features of the heater. Aquarium size is pretty self-explanatory, but what features of a heater are important to you? Do you want a heater you can adjust the temperature to, or do you want one that comes preset to a certain temperature? Besides the size of the aquarium, it is helpful to consider its location, such as is it near a window or on an exterior wall. These factors can keep an aquarium cooler or warmer, depending on the time of year, as well as which region of the country you live in. The ambient air temperature in the room also plays a role in how the heater works in the aquarium. If your home is kept cooler in the winter, the heater will likely have to work harder to keep the aquarium at a certain temperature. Temperature consistency is more important than accuracy. If the aquarium is a couple degrees cooler in the winter than in the summer, that is okay because that change will take place gradually over the months. Proper water circulation is also important to ensure the warm water is being dispersed throughout the aquarium. Aquion has a large offering of heaters for aquariums from 1 gallon to 100 gallons. Each heater line has its own unique features and benefits. All Aquion heaters are fully submersible and come with a safety shutoff, which prevents the heater from overheating if accidentally removed from the aquarium while still plugged in. Aquion flat and mini heaters are for smaller desktop aquariums from 1 to 6 gallons and are designed to continuously heat the aquarium with a shatterproof construction. Aquion preset heaters are for larger aquariums, 10 to 75 gallons. The electronic thermostat turns the heater on and off to keep the aquarium at the preset 78 degrees Fahrenheit, and they are constructed of shatter-resistant glass. Aquion submersible aquarium heaters and pro heaters are for aquariums 10 to 100 gallons. Each model comes with an adjustable dial that allows for the temperature to be set between 68 and 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the temperature is selected, the electronic thermostat turns the heater on and off to maintain that set temperature. The submersible aquarium heaters are made of a shatter-resistant glass, while the pro heaters are shatterproof. View the my Livels Aquarium Heater provides a broad range of aquarium heaters according to its power, including 50, 100, 200, and 300 watts, according to color, including black and blue, of which the blue one allows for only 50 and 100 watts, and according to whether you want a protective case or not, available for 200 and 300 watts. Now, you can also order a two-pack heater for the 50 and 100 watts. They are all fully submersible, and each unit includes two suction cups which allow the heater to stick to the wall of your aquarium and doesn't fall off unless you purposefully want to remove it. These suction cups have a special feature which allow you to easily remove them from the fish tank whenever it suits you best. Our product is made of quartz glass, has a double seal material, and contains a polarized plug which allows for it to operate safely. Furthermore, it is suitable for both fresh and saltwater aquariums and provides a warm and constant temperature for your tropical fish to stay healthy. This product can also be used in cold geographic locations where it gets difficult to keep the water of your tank at an adequate temperature for your fish. Hey, it's Thomas here and I'm going to show you how to set up, install and calibrate your Eheim Jagger heater. First off, to set up and install your Jaeger heater, remove the contents of the box, which includes the heater, the heater holder, and the Eheim suction cups. Next, attach the suction cups to the heater holder. Then, attach the heater holder to the heater. Next, simply turn the blue dial until the desired temperature, which is a number in Fahrenheit, stops in front of the red arrow. Turning the blue dial is the only way to change the actual temperature of the heater, lower or higher. The red arrow is only a reference point and adjusting the arrow will not affect the thermostat of the heater. Once set, put the heater inside of the aquarium, close to a flow source like a filter or power head, and then plug it in, ensuring to have a drip loop. Now before we move on to calibration, it's really important to make sure that you have a reliable thermometer on hand. 
This should not be a cheap stick-on thermometer, but rather a quality glass or digital thermometer that will have a reliable reading. If you have more than one thermometer to reference, that's even better. Eheim Jager heaters are preset at the factory and should be completely accurate out of the box. However, there are sometimes discrepancies between the temperature you set the heater to and the temperature you're achieving in your aquarium. If after 24 to 48 hours, your aquarium temperature is stable, but not the same number that you set the heater to, you can remove the heater from the aquarium and adjust the red reference arrow by sliding the tab at the back of the heater left or right until it points to the temperature that your tank currently is. So if your heater is set to 78, but the tank is only 74, adjust the red arrow, not the blue dial, until it is pointing at 74. Once the reference is adjusted, you can then turn the blue dial until the red arrow hits 78, which is the temperature you were looking for, and then place it back in the aquarium. The heater is now calibrated and will heat to the correct temperature. Here are a few things to keep in mind. The amount of time your heater spends on or off will depend on a few factors, such as, the volume of the aquarium, the ambient temperature of the room, the temperature you want to achieve, and the wattage of the heater. If the heater is not correctly sized, it may stay on nearly all the time or almost never come on at all. These aren't necessarily indications that there is a defect in the heater, but rather could just be an indication that an inappropriately sized heater was chosen. If the heater is set to a specific temperature like 78, but does not often come on and remains at a lower temperature such as 72, keep in mind it may not be defective and may just require recalibration. Much in the same way, if the heater remains on all the time and is overheating the aquarium, it is possible that it is not defective and stuck on, but rather simply needs recalibration. Aquariums over 150 gallons in size will likely require more than one heater in order to hit tropical temperatures in the average home aquarium. It is also recommended to use two smaller heaters rather than a single larger heater whenever possible. Using two heaters creates a more evenly heated aquarium as well as provides a backup in the rare event that one heater fails. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other issues with your Eheim Jager heaters, feel free to contact Eheim Support directly. They are very small, do not occupy the fish tank space. The external control temperature is very convenient. You don't need to wet your hands to adjust the temperature. They are made of quartz tube, not ordinary glass. They are very strong. It doesn't crack easily. The heating rod made of 300 watt quartz sand is equipped with a protective cover to further prevent fish from scalding. Fully immerse in water, place the heater near the water inlet, other side with strong water flow.